Hey guys, it's Shelby and I spent an excessive amount of money on sustainable fashion. In today's video, I have a lot to say because honestly, sustainable fashion is not a small topic. Like there could be an entire YouTube channel about just sustainable fashion. As a matter of fact, there is one. It's called My Green Closet. But trying to fit all that information into one video is kind of a lot. So I have a lot to say. And also, I've been working on this video for probably over a month and more specifically on the blog post or sustainable fashion guide that I've been working on for my website. So that's going to be linked in the description if you have questions about other brands that maybe I'm going to forget to mention because if you didn't know, I'm a plus size person. And not all sustainable clothing brands make clothes that would fit me. As a matter of fact, most of them don't. So I bought clothes from three different categories really. The frumpy style, which is like my everyday style. I pretty much always look frumpy up in this house. Then there's the casual style and then there's a little bit more on the dressy side items that I got. So I'm going to show you all the things that I bought. I'm going to tell you what materials they're made out of, how they're manufactured and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to leave that on the screen for you so I don't have to explain it every single time. And before we jump into this, I want to say that I got a lot of requests to talk about affordable, sustainable fashion. And honestly, that whole mentality is an issue in and of itself because I really believe that over the last couple decades fast fashion has set a new standard for what clothing should cost okay so clothing didn't used to be hella cheap like it is in a lot of fast fashion brands today which pretty much if you can buy it in a mall it's likely not always but most of the time a fast fashion brand which makes it more affordable the problem with that is that the way they make it affordable is by taking super big shortcuts in treating their workers ethically paying them living wages and not destroying the environment in the long run let me explain I feel like the part of fast fashion that people are starting to come to understand is that it is so cheap because it is made with very unfair wages. They want to keep their costs low so that they can keep their profits high. That's what these fast fashion companies do. And they also have these people working in very unethical, unsustainable, unsafe conditions to cut more costs so that it doesn't cut into their profit margins. But there are other reasons these materials are so cheap and it's because of the way they grow them, the unsustainable way that they grow them, the poor land management, the poor resource management, and the poor management of disposals. They also make these items cheap on purpose so that they won't last you too long and you don't feel bad about turning around and buying from them again. As a matter of fact, in recent decades, the amount of clothing that we buy has doubled, whereas the time that we wear it has been cut in half. And I find it incredibly concerning that it seems that this is the new standard. People have seen how cheaply clothing can be produced and now they expect it, not realizing that the reason clothing has become so cheap is because the true cost has been exported onto our environment, onto our waterways, and to the people of the communities who live in the areas where these items are produced. So for those of you out there asking for affordable, sustainable fashion, the answer is thrifting. I honestly haven't bought new clothes like this in about at least over five years. So I guarantee you that you can do it too. There are a lot of awesome online resources if you don't have access to good thrift stores in your area, but that's definitely the option for sustainable and affordable clothing. Most things that are made sustainably and ethically are not going to be your typical fast fashion prices. I think we need new standards in the fashion industry and I think the fact that people think fast fashion prices are affordable and the right way for clothing to be priced or the standard to be set at the fast fashion level is really where we've gone wrong in the fashion industry in general. But regardless, let's get on to the frumpy stuff. So the benefit of me talking about all of these things are sustainable clothing items uh, from brands means that you can literally go and purchase it if you are interested. So for the last, like I said, several years, I wanna say more than five years, but I know for a fact it's been five years, so we're just gonna say five years. For all those years, I have been thrifting pretty much all of my clothing, unless it was something that someone else bought for me. And so when you guys ask me where I get something, I can't tell you because it's secondhand, like you can't go buy it. But in this video, all the links to all the things I'm going to mention are going to be in the description box. Um, if they're affiliate links, they'll be marked, nothing is sponsored but 
just so you guys know. And then also the directory of all the brands that even ones I didn't buy from will be in the description as well. But one of the first purchases I ever made of sustainable clothing is from a brand called Mia Coda. I didn't buy all this clothing in one go, okay? I didn't just sit down, spend a grand, and then make a funny little video about it. Some of these things I've had for several months because I've been testing them out. And I have to tell you that there are probably two or three things out of this haul that I have absolutely fallen in love with and hope that every one of you gets to experience how amazing they are if it's in your budget. And the first thing, like I said, is by this brand called Mia Coda. These are their joggers. Like I said, I'll leave everything on the screen, what it's made out of, what it's called, where the brand is from, etc. But these are the most amazing things I own. They are just these like baggy jogger pants. I mean, a lot of my clothing like I wear, like I said, is very frumpy. And these are just so soft, so comfortable. Obviously, they're ethically made in New York and they're made from sustainable materials, uh, which just makes it really great. I feel great that I can go and buy something that I absolutely love and feel good about doing it. And these are a 10 out of 10, 100% of the time. Definitely check out Mia Coda for basics and like casual comfy clothes. They also make those joggers in a pink color so I have the pink color and I have three black pairs so obsessed sticking with the frumpy cozy feel I did get a lot of questions on Instagram when I told you guys I was making this video about Tentry now I definitely think that it can look sketchy from the outside looking in ten tree because they guarantee planting ten trees for every purchase it looks a little sketchy but I can tell you that they actually have amazing transparency everything you purchase from them comes with a little token of with a number on it so that you can track where the trees you personally contributed to are being planted I always find that that's really important to determine if a company is actually sustainable or if they're greenwashing is to see if they're transparent and where their front and where their funds are going and what they're promising they do if they make that very explicitly obvious and Tentree definitely does they use sustainable materials it's ethically made and they're very transparent so I have this sweater I have two gray sweaters like this the other one's actually sustainable too but I didn't include it in this haul um, it's by a youtuber called Madeline Olivia and it's gray like this they're just very cozy sweaters made from sustainable materials I like this gray color this one has a little tree on it for Tentree this sweater is actually a men's sweater in an extra extra large so it's pretty big and very cozy if you're looking for sustainable sweatshirts or really other things too I'm going to talk about some other things I bought from Tentree um, but that's where this guy is from and I just thought I'd give it a quick mention now I said I was going to tell you a few things in this video that I absolutely would highly 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 recommend like I literally hope every single one of you watching this video gets a chance to experience how amazing these things are and the first thing was my Mia Coda slouchy pants the second thing are my girlfriend leggings let me tell you something about girlfriend leggings why I'm literally officially obsessed with them and have spent I don't even know how much I spent but it's been a lot these leggings are are much more expensive than what you're going to find in a fast fashion fast fashion store because they are made ethically they're made from recyclable materials and they are going to be the most comfortable leggings you have ever put on in your life they're not more expensive than like lululemon or victoria's secret or anything like that but i would legitimately i'm not kidding you would pay double if not triple the price they're charging for these leggings to have them in my life i first ordered this pair and i also with this pair ordered a pair of their jogging shorts uh, or not jogging shorts they're biker shorts which are also like the most amazing things ever I've been trying to work out more stay healthy get fit be on that sort of grind not only do these motivate me but they're just so comfortable I I literally like want to go to the gym so that I can wear these I'm not kidding if you've been on the fence about buying girlfriend leggings please <laughs> Try them out. I think there's a discount code recently that I used during checkout for 20% off. I'll leave it in the description box. Use my link if you are gonna pick these up um, and you can also use that discount code. I wouldn't lie to you about this. I'm not getting paid to say this in any way. These are amazing. Since these are made from recycled plastic and they technically emit uh, microplastics, I also bought their filter that filters out microplastics and I'll be doing a video on that in the future. But yeah, if there was anything out of this video I would highly recommend more than anything else, it's these. They're literally amazing. Oh, and I forgot to mention one of the coolest things about their brand is that they have sizes from extra, extra small up to 6X. Like, 
not only are they the most like comfortable things I bought in this haul, but they're also the most inclusive. So definitely check them out if you have been on the fence, if you've been thinking about them, if you need workout gear, etc. because they're, they're top notch. So that's everything I had in the frumpy category. I guess we'll move up from frumpy to casual and then like kinda less casual, more nice. I don't really ever wear like nice things, so I didn't really buy a lot of nice clothing, but we'll, we'll progressively move up to that. Moving just slightly up from frumpy onto casual, I have a swimsuit here. This one is by Madewell, and it is made from recycled polyester. So yeah, it's super casual. It is a one piece. You guys, this is really, really soft. I've never felt a bathing suit that felt like this. I normally hate the feeling of the texture of bathing suits, so I was really pleasantly surprised when I got this one in and I didn't hate it um, and then it's like super low in the back like the back of the the ba bathing suits very scooped and then I just went ahead and paired to this recycled polyester bathing suit with these tensile shorts so I meant to mention in the beginning that I have a whole video about um, sustainable fabrics which will really help you understand why I chose the items I did and how they're sustainable and last time I talked about sustainable fabrics I said tensile is one of the most sustainable fabrics fabrics you can buy and I definitely still believe that to be true from what I know. So these shorts are made from tensile. They are like a jean short but they're not structured. I hate structured denim for the most part. I think I own like two structured denim pieces in my whole wardrobe. So these are not like that. They're like flexible and they're tensile and then they have like a little tie in the front. So I just put these over my swimsuit which I plan to wear as an outfit when I go to California. So with that swimsuit, with those shorts on the beach in California, I plan to pair these Pila sunglasses. So Pila has made their way from the compostable phone case over to the biodegradable glasses which I think is really cool and honestly. I'm not the pickiest person about glasses. I'm not gonna swear to you that these are the best glasses ever, but they are the best glasses I've owned in a really long time because the ones that have the little nose notches that come out and they're a circle, if you have long hair, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you take them off of your face and put them in your hair and then you go to take them off of your hair and put them back on, and they get stuck in your hair. It's a miserable experience. <laughs> these don't have that. And then I had another pair from a sustainable brand that like sent them over to me, but I never talked about them on my channel. They're made from like recycled coffee beans. I never talked about them because they sucked. Like I would put them on my head and they would just fall down because the tension on the side was not good enough. So those have been my two experiences with sustainable sunglasses recently. So out of those experiences, these have been the best ones that I have had. And they're not cheesy looking. They're like very nice. I love these. So if you're in the market for sustainable sunglasses, Pila has it, has some for you. So you go check them out. There's I also have a discount code for these and the link will be in the description. Okay, so probably the next most casual thing up from that is this jumpsuit I'm wearing. Madison calls it my green bean because it just she says I look like an overcooked green bean in it. Hater. One of my favorite brands of all time, sustainable uh, favorite brands of all time is Eileen Fisher, which is who this organic cotton jumpsuit is by. The journey for me buying this jumpsuit came from, it all started with uh, Beck. If you guys know Beck from the channel Eamon and Beck, she started her own clothing line and she made a jumpsuit. Uh, she made a few pieces actually with a sustainable ethical company, which I thought was so cool. And I really did want to support her. Um, but I think the piece that I wanted was like, uh, upwards of $250 and I really just could not find it in myself to justify that without trying it on first and their return policy was that I think they didn't accept returns but you could get your money back on the site and as much as I love Beck and I wanted to support her I just couldn't spend that much money without trying something on and then not being able to return it so basically from that point on I went on my search for a sustainable jumpsuit um, and I found myself in TJ Maxx one day in the high-end section and found this jumpsuit by Eileen Fisher made from organic cotton originally $240 marked down to 80 bucks and I snagged it. And I'm not kidding you guys, I've owned it for maybe three weeks and I've already worn it like seven times. <laughs> it's really comfortable. It might not be the most flattering thing on my figure, but I love this color. It's so easy to throw on and it's very comfortable. So I am so happy with this purchase. At first I was like, $80? Before I jumped into all the things I bought in this haul, I was like, $80 is kind of steep 
and then I just I'm so glad I did it. They do have this one on the website still. I, I can't link you to it on TJ Maxx because that's not how that works. They don't have links on TJ Maxx, but I will link it to you in her store and then I encourage you to keep an eye out in places like TJ Maxx. I don't believe in going into TJ Maxx and buying unsustainable brands and then like calling it sustainable. I've heard there's some sketchy things going around about how they're not actually like an outlet. They just have lower quality items and I know that's not something Eileen Fisher would ever do. So I was so pumped to find this. This is my only new Eileen Fisher piece I've ever owned and I am a proud owner of it. So yeah, that's just a little story, but I'll link to her website. If you guys don't know, I love her so much because everything she does is very transparent, very sustainable, everything is produced ethically, and she's very size inclusive. It's very difficult to find sustainable brands that are also size inclusive, and she's one of the only ones out there, so that's why I love her so much. Um, I'm actually just barely going to miss my opportunity to go see behind the scenes of how they make stuff at Eileen Fisher when I'm in LA. So bummed about that. That's that's the story of my green bean suit. Okay, actually, I lied. This is not my only Eileen Fisher piece, new Eileen Fisher piece I own. I also have these pants. I should call this beige uh, paper bag style pants, which is another trend that's going around right now that I found it really hard to find a sustainable version in my size, but I found these. These are also made from tensile linen, so sustainable fabric there, and then obviously Eileen Fisher's brand is all made with fair wages. Um, and sustainable practices so but I paired these with oh another tensile piece actually it may not have been the best pairing but it's what I had at the time so this is by Ten Tree, also a tensile shirt and these two together the color goes really good together the fit goes really good together the only thing is that these have a tie on them because they're a paper bag pants and then this has a tie on it in the front as well so this shirt is by Ten Tree. it is black and it's just like a t-shirt, but it's a very structured material. It's not stretchy, it's very structured. And then it has a tie in the front, can you see? It's like a double like that because you're, you're meant to tie it. And then it has buttons in the back. So stinking cute. I love this piece and I'm gonna keep the shirt. I'm just on the fence about the pants, so let me know what you guys think. Oh, the piece that I'm so sad about. Okay, so there's a lot of tensile in this haul, I'm noticing. Tensile is, I guess, becoming more of a popular fabric because people are buying it, which I love to see that sustainable fabrics are becoming more popular because people are buying them, so that's so exciting. This is a really, really cute piece by Patagonia. It is made from tensile, and it's a beautiful color. Texture of this suit is so soft it's so comfortable and it fits me really really like loose like it's big and baggy on me and so comfortable so my style except for the top here um, because I have really big boobs I cannot wear the top of this um, I'm very hopeful that someone will tell me in the comments a way I can make this top work for myself without feeling like I'm literally constantly going to bust out of this because the I wish you could feel the texture of it. It's so like silky smooth. It's amazing and it's so comfortable and it's so like breathable. Like the material is so lightweight. I could see myself wearing this as much as I wear the green bean if the top um, just fit me better. So I'll give this one like a week or two to see if anybody tells me something I could do with it. Um, I thought about just layering it with like a t-shirt and wearing this over the t-shirt, but I, I <laughs> the situation would just not be good. It would still be another layer which would only make it tighter, which I think would make it worse. So if you guys have any other solutions, I just don't want to return this because I love it so much. If you guys have smaller chests than me and you're looking for a jumpsuit that's like really cute colors like this, it's really comfortable and lightweight, I would recommend it, but if you have big boobs, it's not gonna work for you, unfortunately. All right, and then a lot of you had questions about Reformation. I definitely think that they have a pretty good amount of transparency, so I wanted to try them out. This dress is a, a little bit long for me, so you'll see it in the try-on that it's just a little bit longer than what I personally think is flattering on me. It's very comfortable. What's really cool about this brand, uh, Reformation, is actually they had quite a few things in plus sizes, so I like this dress. Alrighty, guys, well, I hope this gave you some insight on sustainable fashion brands. Like I said, I'm gonna have the whole page on my website with all the brands that I looked into, even the ones that didn't make things for me in my size. I'm very excited about a lot of the things I bought, but a lot more of information was like popping up on the screen because if I talked in depth about each piece, we would be here forever. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, I would love to hear them in the comments section. If you wanna purchase anything, I will try to get discount codes from as many places as I can, so definitely check the links 
and the discount codes in the description. And like I said, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you learned some more about sustainable fashion today. And also keep in mind that you don't have to buy things new. You definitely just don't have to. I went years, like I said, without buying anything new. And I don't plan on making a habit out of this, out of buying sustainable fashion. This was quite literally so that I could communicate to you guys what brands I think are good and are not. I've tried them on and I've worn them and what I think of them, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's it for me today, you guys. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye, guys.